On Halloween night, the great pumpkin rises out of his pumpkin patch and flies through the air with his bag of toys for all the children. Ten minutes for the Kingathon to begin. I'm so excited. This is when we run. Hello everyone and welcome to the first day of Stephen Kingathon. I am so so excited. <laughs> I can't. I'm so excited. Um today is the first day of Stephen Kingathon and it just hit 12 a.m. So let the reading begin. <laughs> ding 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 ding. Okay. afternoon it's now the it's still the first day of the Stephen Kingathon and I went to sleep at 1 a.m. last night and it was a bad idea because I woke up with I woke up super tired I had to wake up around 6 a.m. to go to work currently 2 55 p.m. very tired but I'm also excited because of Stephen Kingathon it's super cool to see everyone's TBR and it's amazing that people actually um, are participating and signed up for it so it's very cool so I started reading 1922 last night I'm only 30 pages in and so far it is definitely very similar to the movie I watched the movie maybe two years ago and yesterday my little nephew he's only how old is he he's only 11 he's gonna turn 12 he was watching it with me yesterday and he, I guess he likes horror things. I know it has a lot of guts and stuff, but he wanted to watch it and I told him you better not get scared and we watched it together. And the only things that are like gruesome are when the guy murders his wife. And that's basically what this whole book is about. So the man, Wilfred, he doesn't want to sell his land and his wife wants to sell everything and move to the city but he does not want to leave. It starts out the book with him writing a letter the year 1930. It's basically years 
after he committed the murder. He begins t writing this letter and he starts telling the reader how the murder occurred and how the conniving man inside of him had already thought about the cow barn. I am now on page 24. I'm going to continue reading, but first I'm gonna go eat something because I'm freaking, I'm super hungry. <laughs> Today is October 2nd. It is Friday morning. I just finished my Zoom meeting with our class to say good morning and update you guys with my reading, of course. Um, I'm barely on page 80 of 1922, so yesterday I wasn't able to read that much. I watched a movie, uh, my very first scary movie of the month, and I watched Hostel, and whew! It was so suspenseful. Today, hopefully, I'm able to finish 1922, and I also want to start Pet Cemetery. Well, hours have passed. It is now 4 o'clock p.m., and I just finished reading 1922. And I have to say that it took me longer than I expected it to take me. I started reading it, and then I kept getting lost and zoning out, so I wasn't really enjoying the story as much as I wished I could have enjoyed it. I think I prefer the movie more than the than the short story, to be honest with you guys, because it was just really hard for me to to imagine what was happening. I mean, like when I read short stories, I expect them to be like super fast paced and just like a short entertainment. But honestly, we understand that the plot was the husband murdering his wife because he didn't want to sell the part of his, the part of his land there weren't a lot of gruesome parts in this book only the part where he murders his wife and the part with the rats and things and how he sees his wife down in the well because they do throw um his wife down in like a like a well that's like 20 feet deep and those were the only gruesome parts and it's definitely not one of my favorites by Stephen King. I'm finished with this one. It took me one and a half day to finish, even though it's 128 pages. I just kept putting it down because I was just not very entertained with it. But yeah, I'm gonna start reading Pet Cemetery. This is a little bit longer, but we're reading it in different sections. I think we have to read the first 40, 50 pages for the reading on Sunday. Yeah, and we're just gonna discuss it and I'm really excited and hope you guys can join us for that day. I'm gonna be reading this for the group book and for... I think that's it. That is because I want to like this book since I didn't really like the new adaptation for it. So yeah, but before I begin reading, I'm gonna show you guys like a little haul that I got from Hot Topic. They had a special going on and you guys know I love specials. I don't buy anything if it's not in a special and we gotta save money you know so i got some pennywise socks because on october 7th it'll be pen it'll be it day so you don't want to miss out on that it's gonna be super fun let me just open it for you guys and they look like this some pennywise socks 
Oh, they have a little boat. And then the next thing, that's what I'm excited for. Are you guys ready to see? It's a Pennywise mug. I'm so excited. I don't even want to use it because I just want to put it on my bookshelf. But it's nice. Pennywise doesn't really scare me. I'm not really scared of clowns, so... Ooh, this is perfect for my morning coffee. It's now 4.10 p.m. I'm gonna go and read Pet Cemetery. Good morning, today is October 3rd and it is currently 10 o'clock a.m. I'm gonna go to Malibu, of course, social distancing and following all COVID guidelines. So it's been a long time that we haven't gone out, so we really need some fresh air. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me.
today is Sunday. It's currently 5 o'clock, I think. I'm not sure. But we're about to go live in one hour. We went to Malibu and we went to this um, brunch place and we had mimosas, $20 for all. You can drink mimosas and they were delicious. They had different flavors. They had mango, they had pineapple, strawberry, and orange juice, which usually the mimosas come with orange juice. I've been reading Pet Cemetery, and this is our group book. I am on page 47. Basically, it introduces Lewis Creed, who accepts a position at the University of Maine. He's a doctor, and um, he moves his family with him to a, a big old New England colonial, and there's a huge um, backyard for his kids to play and it takes you to a huge path where it leads you to the woods and they found this pet cemetery there where a lot of animals pets have been buried and that's basically where we're at right now and I feel like with this book we can really see that Stephen King does a, an amazing job at storytelling I have to say it's way better than it he includes so much description to so the reader can really understand what is going on and so we can imagine exactly what is happening in the story and it's just developing developing so well and I'm very intrigued to know what's gonna happen next um, I did watch the movie already but like I mentioned in a couple of my other videos I did not enjoy the movie because I have had no idea what was going on so I think with reading this, we're gonna get I'm gonna get to know a lot of things about the Indian tribes and the pet cemetery and what happened there. Right now, I'm gonna get ready really fast and brew some coffee. And who, if you did join us, thank you. Pennywise mug. Chapter 18? Wow. 